All right, so time for something kind of bizarre. Bananas, originally they were grown from a seed. Over time, through human selection, we have found a way to produce seedless bananas. And all bananas out there in the world that we have that do not have seeds, they are made from cuttings. You take that cutting, you make another one, and they're exact clones of each other. Because everything is an exact clone of another. If one is susceptible to disease, that means it could wipe out all of them. So an entire landscape filled with bananas can just go crumbling down if a strain of disease hits it because there are no defenses. So that's where seeded bananas might be the way of the future. If all the banana varieties without seeds get wiped out, which is not going to happen, this would be a way of protecting it. Now you can already see that these ones look kind of different. Um, I'm I think this might be something to do with the fact that they have seeds. They are wider. They're very, I mean, they're very stout, and they're very wide. So there is uh, a little more room in there to hold all those seeds. And what I'm finding is that these are actually very difficult to get off the hand. So I'm going to have to, like, cut one off. So I picked one that's, like, a little bit darker, uh, just to make sure that this is not going to be like super starchy or anything. You know, some varieties of banana, you want them to be completely black before you eat it. Um, but this one, I'm going to take my chances and get one that's like a little bit darker. And hopefully that'll be a good middle ground. Uh, and you can already see, you know, just how fibrous that, that skin is. It's kind of like, it's kind of dry. Peels off super easily. But it's, uh, yeah, like look at, look at those fibers. They're like big, thick fibers that come apart when you, when you peel it. So here is the fruit itself. You can see it comes to a point there. And it's kind of like ridgy looking. Now a lot of the seeded bananas out there in the world are ornamental. And most of the ornamental bananas, they don't have much of a flavor. But these were sold in the market. You know, people buy these to eat. Maybe they cook with them. Maybe they smash these and get those seeds out of there. I'm not sure. They are most likely are not just taking a big bite out of it. So hopefully it's not too starchy. There you can see. Look at that. Look at those little seeds. That's pretty cool, right? Oh, uh, I mean, it's not going to be fun eating this thing. Oh. There's a lot of seed. Mmm. Okay, didn't think this through. It's very hard to talk now. It is sweet. Mmm. <laughs> um. The flavor is okay. It's not starchy. I thought this might <clears throat> taste like an unripe banana or like um like plantain or something. It doesn't. It's got maybe like a little bit of a starchiness to it, but more like if you were to eat a banana that's not like 100% ripe, but like pretty ripe, like slightly green Cavendish. Those are all the seeds in there. That's what I got out of that one bite. 25% of this banana is just seeds, which uh, makes it very difficult to eat. So I'm guessing that you know, people buying these at the market are probably doing something with them. I think you could probably, like, um, you could probably, like, separate out those seeds with, like, a strainer or something and then eat it. Maybe the woman just, like, saw these growing, like, wild and just, like, picked them and brought them to market and just, like, didn't know that they had seeds. That could be a thing, too. <laughs> you know, like, that, that is a truly possible. Well, it's not terrible. It's sweet. It's just kind of bland. It tastes a little bit like if you got like a Cavendish banana that was like a little green still. Similar sweetness, maybe a little less sweet, but mostly it's less flavorful. 
So the texture on this is actually better than a Cavendish. It's got like nice, um, I just took like a little bite out of it because I'm kind of like trying not to get into those seeds. But you see it's like pretty juicy, it's pretty dense, and it's pretty creamy. So it's not bad, but I can see how this would be better um, cooking with it, uh, doing something with it, obviously not taking a bite out of it. There is a reason why we manipulated bananas as much as we have throughout history to be like they are today. But what's fascinating is that this is where it all started. Bananas grow wild with seeds and they, you know, they grow like just like anything. And when we cultivated them, we cultivated ones without those seeds. And that is uh, really fascinating. So I'm trying an ancestor, you know, of the modern seedless banana that we have. That's pretty cool. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get a little bit more information about this fruit, then I actually wrote an article about it over on the website Atlas Obscura. You may have heard of Atlas Obscura. They're a fantastic resource about interesting places and foods now all around the world. They also have a YouTube channel, which I'll also link below, where they talk about interesting places and foods and people. So if you like what I'm doing, you'll probably like that as well. They aren't a sponsor or anything, uh, but I write for them, and they're a friend of the channel. So if you like what I'm doing, I think you might like what they're doing too. Thank you so much. See you next time.